When it comes to survival in the animal kingdom, sometimes size does matter. Today we're going to be taking a look at 10 shockingly large animals that actually exist. Number 1 is quite possibly the largest mammal to have ever existed, so make sure to stay tuned and meet this humongous beast. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Coconut Crab Let's start with something small, well, relatively small. But considering that their closest relative is minuscule compared to them, they're positively ginormous. Native to the islands in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, coconut crabs are the world's biggest land-dwelling arthropods. They can weigh up to 9 pounds with a leg span of around 3 feet. Just seeing one of these monsters could make even the bravest of men break out in a sweat. It's pretty hard to imagine that the closest relative to this behemoth is the humble hermit crab. But although the coconut crab is a close relative of your childhood pet hermit crab, they have been known to eat kittens, rats, chickens, and even each other. They've even been proposed as a possible culprit in the disappearance of the body of Amelia Earhart. The coconut crabs have no shell as protection from enemies, so they have powerful claws and a large body to protect themselves. In addition, their mighty claws let them monopolize the terrestrial hard foods, including coconuts, which other animals are unable to get into. Number 9. The Ocean Sunfish Looking more like a huge floating blob rather than a fish, the ocean sunfish is officially the largest bony fish in the world, a huge achievement considering that it doesn't have a visible back fin. Ocean sunfish, or mola, develop their truncated bullet-like shape because the back fin in which they are born with simply never grows. Instead, it folds into itself as the enormous creature matures, creating a rounded rudder called a clavis. In fact, their name mola in Latin means milestone, which perfectly describes this fish's somewhat rounded shape. The mola are the heaviest of all the bony fish, with large specimens reaching 14 feet vertically and 10 feet horizontally, and weighing nearly 5,000 pounds. They are clumsy swimmers, waggling their large dorsal and anal fins to move in steering with their clavis. Their food of choice is jellyfish, though they will eat small fish and huge amounts of zooplankton and algae as well. They are harmless to people, but can be very curious and will often approach divers. Number 8. The Mekong Catfish The Mekong Giant Catfish is the official freshwater heavyweight champion of the world. According to the Guinness Book of Records, a 9-foot-long individual caught in northern Thailand in 2005 weighed an astonishing 646 pounds. This makes it the largest exclusively freshwater fish ever recorded. To put things into perspective, this fish is so huge that it could easily feed a small village. The thing is, they are critically endangered. These giant catfish were once plentiful throughout the Mekong Basin, but their numbers are believed to have dropped by at least 95% over the past century. With no population figures available, estimates of the decline are based on the fall in the number of fish caught. Some experts think there may only be a few hundred or even fewer adults left in the Mekong River. Their decline is often associated with overfishing, but other culprits could also be the damming of Mekong tributaries, the destruction of the fish's spawning and feeding grounds, and siltation. Number 7. The Oarfish The strange-looking oarfish is the longest bony fish in the sea. The origin of the oarfish name is unknown, but may refer to the oar-shaped body or the long oar-like pelvic fins. Because of its long, thin shape, the oarfish fish is sometimes known as the ribbonfish. It is also commonly referred to as the king of herrings. They have a habit of floating near the surface of the water when they are sick or dying. Because of this, it is believed that the oarfish may be responsible for many of the legendary sightings of sea monsters and sea serpents by ancient mariners and beachgoers. Almost everything we know about the oarfish has been learned from specimens that have washed ashore on beaches or have been accidentally caught by fishermen, and footage of a live one out in the wild are pretty rare, making any photo or footage quite invaluable. Oarfish have the tendency to grow quite large. In fact, no one actually knows how big these fish can grow to. Currently, the largest oarfish ever found reached a mind-boggling 110 feet. It was found dead, of course, and no oarfish as big as that or bigger has ever been found. Number 6. The Flemish Giant Rabbits usually don't factor in when discussing giants, at least when you think of a pet rabbit. You probably imagine the fluffy little bunny you got to take care of for a weekend during kindergarten, not one that's the size of a small carrot-eating toddler. The Flemish Giant is the largest rabbit in the world. They can grow to a whopping 2.5 feet long and weigh up to 22 pounds. They are very popular as pets, that is if you're in the market for a pet that hops like a bunny but steals food off the kitchen table like a puppy. The thing is, they weren't meant to be pets initially. They were bred so large to accommodate the growing demand for meat. In fact, they're still occasionally cooked, but their large bone structure and expensive diet means you're not getting much bang for your buck. 
people started breeding the giants back in the 16th century in Belgium. The first authentic record of their existence dates back to 1860s England, at least according to Thomas Codem's Origins of the Flemish Giants, published in the 1983 edition of the National Federation of Flemish Rabbit Breeders Guides books. And yes, that book actually does exist. Travelers returning from Flanders told tales of large rabbits in that book. Number 5. The Cenaris Vulture The Cenaris Vulture is one of the heaviest and largest raptors in the world. Actually, it is often considered to be the largest bird of prey in the world. The bald head and neck are a bluish-gray with a fluffy collar which is lighter in older birds. In many countries, this bird is also called the monk vulture because of its upright standing neck features that resemble the hood of a monk. Like all vultures, the Cenaris vulture feeds on carrion, which is a good thing in many ways. First, they fundamentally act as nature's garbage collectors, disposing of rotting remains and ensuring that their environment remains clean. And second, because of their massive size, one could see that they could easily take down a large creature. This includes humans if they decided to do so. In the last 200 years, the Cenaris vulture greatly decreased in numbers in most distribution areas, especially by poisoning, habitat destruction, and reduction of food supply. Formerly very widespread, they are now extinct in certain European countries like Portugal, France, Italy, and many others. But recently, their numbers have slowly been increasing due to the efforts of conservationists and captive breeding programs. Number 4. The Lion's Mane Jellyfish Can you imagine anything larger than the blue whale? You can't? Well, neither could we until we chanced upon this creature. While the blue whale can reach lengths of up to 108 feet, the Lion's Mane Jellyfish easily surpasses that. I mean, the largest specimen, for instance, is 120 feet long, so they have it beat by a decent margin. How long does it have to live to reach such extraordinary lengths? Well, believe it or not, they do all that growing with a ridiculously short lifespan of a year. These deep-sea monsters can have up to 1,200 tentacles, all of which equipped with stinging cells, and although a sting from these massive creatures rarely results in fatalities, getting stung won't be that much fun either. The sticky tentacles of a lion's mane jellyfish can sting even when the jellyfish is dead. So give lion's mane jellyfish on the beach a wide berth. On June 16, 2010, somewhere between 50 and 100 swimmers were stung off the coast of Rye, New Hampshire, and when a 40-pound lion's mane corpse was found at the scene, the authorities felt they'd found the perpetrator. Number 3. The Goliath Frog Some frogs are thumbnail size, but Cameroon's Goliath Frog is bigger than a whole human foot. It can also measure up to 34 centimeters and weigh up to 3.3 kilos. Although the world's largest frogs are well known for their girth, their jumping prowess, and their ability to provide a hearty meal for us humans, their reproductive behavior has long been a mystery, until very recently. Recent studies have found out that these frogs' massive size isn't just for show. These burly guys actually build their own nests using stones, quarrying their preferred building material from wherever they could find them, and carrying them around to be used for building their own personal ponds. Goliath frogs, likely the bigger males, excavate the meter-wide ponds, moving sand and stones weighing up to two-thirds of their own body weight. It appears that some even use the excavated materials to build the walls of these pools. These impressive construction efforts represent an unusually high degree of parental care among frogs. It also may explain just how the Goliath grew to be so big. The bigger the frog, the heftier the construction possible, and the more protection for vulnerable, newly hatched tadpoles. Number 2. The Green Anaconda A member of the boa family, South America's Green Anaconda is, pound for pound, the largest snake in the world. Its cousin, the reticulated python, can reach slightly greater lengths, but the enormous girth of the anaconda makes it almost twice as heavy. They can grow to more than 29 feet, weigh more than 550 pounds, and measure more than 12 inches in diameter. Females are significantly larger than males. They reach their awesome size on a diet of wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, capybaras, caimans, and even jaguars. They are non-venomous constrictors, coiling their muscular bodies around captured prey and squeezing until the animal asphyxiates. Jaws attached by stretchy ligaments allow them to swallow their prey whole, no matter the size, and they can go weeks or months without food after a big meal. Given all these various facts, is it possible for an anaconda to reach the size depicted in the photo? The short answer is yes, but highly unlikely. 29 feet seems to be the limit for these giants as that is the length of the largest ever recorded. So if something larger does exist, scientists and news outlets will definitely have a field day. So far, no such reports have surfaced, so we can safely say that this photo is a definite hoax. Number 1. The Blue Whale Blue whales are the largest animals ever known to have lived on Earth. 
These magnificent marine mammals rule the oceans at up to 100 feet long and upwards of 200 tons, with the largest specimen recorded at 108 feet long. Their tongues alone can weigh as much as an elephant, their hearts as much as a standard sedan. It is quite hard to believe that blue whales reach these mind-boggling dimensions on a diet composed nearly exclusively of tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. But given the fact that the volume of food they consume is downright epic, one can definitely understand the reason behind their massive size. During certain times of the year, a single adult blue whale consumes about four tons of krill a day. Blue whales live in all the world's oceans, occasionally swimming in small groups, but usually alone or in pairs. These huge but graceful swimmers cruise the ocean at more than five miles an hour, but can't accelerate to move more than 20 miles an hour when they are agitated. They are also among the loudest animals on the planet. They emit a series of pulses, groans, and moans, and it's thought that in good conditions, blue whales can hear each other up to 1,000 miles away. Did we leave any massive animals out? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.